Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of the Kevin Preston Toy Box. Today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite toys in the collection. This is a later toy. Uh, this is vintage 1979 from Milton Bradley, the electronics division. And you may remember they came out with a number of electronic oriented toys at the end of the 70s, early 80s. And one of the absolute best was this, this thing called Big Track. And not only is it a really cool operational toy, so many of these from now going on, what, 25, 30 years old, are still working. And um, being electronic, and that's another consideration, uh, kind of hard to repair these if uh, you don't know a little something about electronics, uh, as well as the mechanics of it. I'm very fortunate this one has worked uh, very well from the moment I got it. And uh, I got this about uh, 14, 15 years ago. And I got the big track uh, outside of the box, and I got the transporter add-on trailer, which we'll be looking at in a moment, uh, in, the, in the original box. That's, that's very cool. Um, the big track was made as a toy that you can program. And basically how it works is it's a six-wheeled little vehicle here that the, the center wheels drive, and these two outsiders are, just, are for... Um, support going forward or backwards. Uh, I love this because it reminds me a lot of the vehicle design of something out of like maybe that old Jan Michael Vincent movie, Damnation Alley, uh, which interestingly, by the way, I saw those original vehicles uh, outside the Dean Jeffrey shop uh, in Southern California a number of times. So that just kind of added to me. I just thought the retro future sort of look of these things was, uh, was really cool. I like the heads on shot as well. I think that's really cool. Now, being a programmable toy, how this thing works is on the back, there is a keypad, and it's one of these touch-sensitive pressure keypads. Mine's actually in very good shape, uh, especially for the age of this toy. Uh, I think most of them are. They, they just seem to be built pretty well. Um, this is the, the keypad that you use to program the, the vehicle. And basically, you have your directional arrows here. Um, you can fire the little cannon, laser cannon, which is located up front, which I'll show you in a moment. And uh, you basically program this uh, to go in whatever direction you want and to turn, fire, hold, dump the trailer if the trailer's attached, and, and, and really all this functionality. So it's really cool. So let's, let's run through a test program, and you can see how this works. So I'm going to run through a couple of... Uh, of uh, test programs, you can see how this works. For example, uh, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, clear out the memory. What you can do is you can you can t program moves of the truck, and then when you add moves on, it will add it on to what you already have in there, unless you hit the clear key. So that's nice because you can start out with a few moves and then add to it, and not have to put all your old programming steps back in. So let's say the first thing I want to do is I want to go back. I want to go forward. Um, one vehicle length, which is about 13 inches. So I push up arrow and one, and then I push the go key right here. You hear a beep to show that you've completed the program. Okay. Well, now if I don't hit clear, it'll keep that in its memory and I can add to it. So how about if I add backwards? one vehicle length. Hit go. Is that cool or what? Okay. Now I want to add to that. Let's go forward. One again. And then I want to rotate. And you use this with your left and right and it's almost like the hands of a clock. So if you want to go halfway around, you can hit 30. So I can go Okay, I want to go right, 30. Isn't that cool? Bring it back here. I'm not going to hit clear, so we're going to keep all the old steps in there. And I want to fire the cannon five times.
Okay. Okay, so now we're going to clear it out. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to go forward one length. I want to go to the right, 30. I want to fire six times. I want to go to the left, 30. And I want to go backwards one car length. Okay. I'm going to go forward one, right 90, left 80, fire 6. Now, you can also put in replacement O-rings, get yourself some large O-rings, and there's a groove on the drive wheels, okay, where you can get an O-ring. I think someone on eBay might even, might even have them. And uh, there's a couple of nice sites on uh, eBay. One, I think it's BigTrack.com. You find it if you Google. And what's nice about it is they have a reproduction right on there in color as I'm interrupted, if you don't do anything with it for 30 seconds, it beeps to let you know you turn it on so you save your battery. So that's kind of a neat feature. You got to see that live. Um, as I was saying, there is a, uh, uh, an individual is nice enough to scan his color uh, uh, manual right on there and on the internet and you can download that and it has the complete programming instructions. Now I'm very fortunate to have a big track transport uh, in the box, in the original box. I got this along with the big track, which didn't have a box, as I explained earlier. Um, at the same time, and this has got to be 12, 13 years ago I purchased this. Uh, and uh, I believe I got this at a shop, actually. I played with the big track a number of times, but I've only played with the transport or taken it out of its box once, and it did not work. So, um, seeing as I have an additional 12, 13, 14 years of skilled toy repair under my belt, I thought now's the time that we're getting the big track out and we're showing that off to let's get the transporter out and uh, get it working or see about getting it repaired. Uh, it may be a, a function of um, the interface to the, to the big track, the problem in the big track itself, but I don't think so because I think I tried to test this on its own and I'll show you how to do that and it didn't work either. So uh, either case, we'll see if we can't get this thing going now. One of these things you want to do is be very careful when you're working with these old boxes that you don't rip the cardboard flaps. And I think I put this away in such a way that I can just kind of scoot it out, hopefully. I've got the original inserts in here and everything. I'm trying to be rather careful. And here the unit is. The box will go back over here. I like, I love original boxes, but I'm not one of these crazy guys that'll go online and pay $300 for an empty box, you know, no. Anyway, here's the trailer, or the transport, actually. And as you can see, it's it's set up, I haven't seen this in years and years and years, so it's kind of cool to see it. And the idea is that it's supposed to tip. You can see the wires for the connection that go up this, to this terminal right here, which is just like a phono terminal. See that there? So, what we're going to do is uh, add the batteries to this. There is a battery compartment here. And we're going to take that apart. I always like to use a, a manual or a piece of paper, you know, a block of paper, or towel, to set things on so they don't get beat up when you're trying to work on them. Okay, we put a fresh battery in there. And uh, one of the tips of the manual uh, indicates is take a paper clip and clip it over the back two sections of the stereo connector. So basically all that happens is when you when the big track is programmed to dump this uh, it simply just connects these two wires together internally 
and uh, the dumping action happens. So we're going to try to uh, clip this on here. This will take a second or two and then go. And as you see, it is not working. Well, pretty much how I left this years ago. Well, I'm going to even try to do it a different way. transporter plugs basically right in here and the to make it work is simply hitting the out key that mine's a little a little sticky I probably have to oil a little bit, but as you see, it does its dump cycle. Get you an idea of what it looks like moving forward with this attachment. We'll go and just do a Very cool indeed. Uh, big Track and the Big Track Transport by Milton Bradley circa 1979. Uh, interestingly, there was also a version that I think was unique for the UK market that was white. And I almost bought one of those one time, but I, uh, I, I hadn't gotten around to it. I might still do that. The other nice thing about this toy is, oddly, you can get them for a pretty decent price on eBay. They're not highly collected, so they're not, you know, I don't know why. To me, it's 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 one of the best toys out there uh, you'll find yourself playing with this thing for hours uh, and I've just done it here on my on my hobby table but there we go again I've just done it here on my hobby table but you can imagine you can have this if you have a hardwood floor or linoleum or something like that you can have this go all the way across your house and turn around and come back at you make a big square program it to go around furniture the whole nine yards so really a neat toy and uh, you might want to check it out Thanks again for watching the Kevin Preston Toy Bark. <laughs>